right, enough of all the heavy political stuff. I did say we'd do some light things when I set up this channel, such as one of my big hobbies, comics. Here we have a very old reprint comic called Halo Jones from 2000 AD, which has been reprinted in with nice colourful pages, unlike the wonderful chip, chip paper that the original 2000 AD comic had. If you're British and watching this, you probably remember 2000 AD and handing it round in the playgrounds if you're of a certain age and discussing Judge Dredd's adventures and shooting lawgivers with his law and, and killing them. However, Halo Jones is a bit of an oddity in 2080's history. It's about a girl who could be anyone, essentially. Somehow Alan Moore makes this work and gets an adventurous story out of it by having a framing device where Halo Jones is discussed thousands of years after her own death. I'm going to try and find some of those sections in the comic and read them out. Here we go. Here's the framing device used within this comic. It's set, it starts one episode in the year 6427 AD at the Institute for Parahistorical Studies and has a lecturer teaching about the protagonist of the comic. Over the centuries, a lot of nonsense and distortion has built up around the name Halo Jones. It's said that she was a war criminal who aided in the slaughter of millions. Supposedly, she met many famous historical figures. During the true male empire of the 52nd century, it was even claimed that she was a man named Hal Jones. It then goes back on to discuss who she may really have been and we find the worrying a worrying dystopia that Moore uses throughout this comic, which seems rather prescient. The hoop was a massive dead end in which to dump America's unemployed, called a poverty reduction program. It didn't re reduce poverty, it just meant that people no longer had to look at the poor. They were ca called enhanced leisure citizens. Some of Moore's worryingly accurate predictions like this pop up and again such as people addicted to listening to sound and sticking headphones in their ears so they are totally distracted from reality sounds a lot like people living on smartphones i'd say <laughs> more also shows how people's prejudices may change we have at one point a sequence where people complain about the horrors of people eating congealed dairy products and having two or three children and how this is a vicious and evil thing but as a whole, the comic is a, a weird thing and out of the norm for 2000 AD. It was meant to originally run to nine books, but unfortunately Moore has rather a habit of burning bridges with people. <sighs> and it never got beyond the first few books. I'm going to show some of the art by holding up this book. Ian Gibson's style is particularly angular and divisive in opinion. I like it. Not everybody does. And we'll do it a few more pages. Let me find something. It's highly recommended, even if it is something of an oddity for the comic it's been anthologized from. <laughs> 